Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 1975 Citroen DS23 and this has 1,270 horsepower, 901 pounds feet of torque from its 3.4 litre turbocharged inline 6 engine. The car itself now weighs 2,684 pounds, has all wheel drive and it can add a 0 to 16 2.92 seconds and 0 to 104.911 seconds. So I'm not expecting this to be as quick as the Automobili Pininfarina Batista because that has a lot more power and torque and it's obviously a far newer car. But it's still be interesting to see what this classic uh, Citroen can do. So let's get out there and see what it can do. So um, yeah, for some reason in the game they've only called it the DS23. So I'm not sure if there's been some licensing issues with uh, calling it a full-blown Citroen or not. But a little bit weird in that regard, especially since it was called a Citroen DS23 in the previous World of Rising game. But regardless, I'm glad we have it in the game. So uh, yeah, it's always a plus point to have a classic Citroen. So that's 230 already. There are plenty of other um, classic Citroens I'd love to see though. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we've not got many, uh, many um, French cars from before the 80s. That's 252, 253, 254. Is it 255? Come on, you can do it. Now, obviously, this doesn't have the most amount of power, and it is obviously on the older side of things. But aerodynamically speaking, this was well ahead of its time. And, um, yeah, which obviously I'm not showing off a lot now, because I'm currently skewing all over the place. Um, but, yeah, well ahead of its time for aerodynamics. And that will definitely help, obviously, because the more aerodynamic the vehicle is, the more efficient, efficient it is at, you know, using its power. So, that's going to be helpful. But handling-wise, it is obviously suffering. It was only ever four-wheel drive originally, had less than 130 horsepower, I think. So, yeah, we're definitely pushing this car past its original limits by quite some substantial margin. Right, so we're going to gain some speed down in this downhill section, but it's all about what we can hold after the fact, because, you know, gravity is not our engine. So there's 259, 260, 261, 262. Scrubbing some of that speed off now, we're going to hold 261. Yep, 261. Yep, there we go, which is... A fairly decent, but by no means the uh, fastest car that we've had in this series so far. So that manages to beat the likes of the Jaguar Mark II, the Ford F-150 SVT Lightning, the ruling Hongyang Mini EV Macron, the Ford Capri RS 3100, uh, an original Chevrolet Corvette, and a Fiat 124 Sport Spider. But it is slower than a Cooper Tavascan Concept, the Mazda 323 GTR, a Lamborghini Espada from the same kind of era as this, an ATS GT and a Ford Supervan 3. But still, considering, like I said, its age and the fact it was never meant to go anywhere near as quick as this with this amount of horsepower, it's fairly decent. But yeah, the handling is all over the place and it's really not suitable for doing this kind of speed generally, especially when it comes to racing. So wouldn't recommend for doing it with that, but I do recommend getting it. And you can get it by doing a seasonal championship in the current festival playlist. So not only will you get this car for doing that championship, but you'll also get 5 points towards getting the Volkswagen ID4, which is currently up for 20 points. So yeah, two birds, one stone basically in that regard. So uh, yeah, and I love this car. I'm really, really glad it's back in the Forza series. And uh, yeah, it's a great one to uh, try out. Nonetheless, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.